My respected elders and brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought us into existence. And Allah has put us on this earth in order to test us. The reason why we are here at the moment is to pass the test that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided to put us through the mere fact that He has created us. Every single minute is a test in our life. And we have to pass this test. We have to protect ourselves from failure. And Allah said that if you want to pass this test, you need to engage in patience. You need to engage in sabr. And you need to engage in salah. And Allah said it, that engaging in patience, engaging in salah, it's not easy. It's difficult. Those who want to adopt the pleasure of Allah, those who are pious, those who are humble, for them it's very simple. But for those who don't want to adopt the pleasure of Allah, those who are not pious, those who are not humble, for them it's very difficult to engage in patience and engaging in sabr. Allah said, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ That those who are not humble, those who are not pious, for them it's very difficult to engage in patience and to engage in salah. That is number one. In another ayah of the Holy Quran, Allah says, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرُونَ Allah is making mentions of five things in this ayah. He said that we will test you. We will test you with some form of fear. You may have your enemies in your direction. You may have some form of fear of becoming sick. You may have some form of fear of big disease. You may have some form of fear of getting infected with this COVID-19. You may have some, so some form of other fear. So he said it that he is going to test us. And in another ayah Allah said, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ حَتَّى نَعْلَمَ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ مِنْكُمْ وَالصَّابِرِينَ وَنَبْلُوَ أَخْبَارَكُمْ Allah said that we will definitely test you. Every single one of us is going to be tested by Allah. And Allah said that He is going to test us to see that from amongst us who is true believer and who is false. Allah is going to see that who struggles in His way and who not and who is patient. Every single department of ours is going to be tested by Allah. Allah said that we will give you wealth to test you. We will take it away to test you. We will give you children to test you. We will take them away to test you. We will give you happiness to test you. We will give you sadness to test you. We will give you, we will make you ill to test you. We will grant you cure to test you. So he is going to test us. This whole life is a test. We are here on a journey. Allah is going to test us. And we need to pass this test by engaging in sabr, by engaging in passions, and by engaging in salah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not test us with the test that we will fail. And Allah said it in the Quran, Inni jazaytuhumul yawma bima sabaru wannahumul faizun. Those who are keeping patience, those who are bearing patience, Allah will give them VIP reward, a special reward on the day of Qiyamah. And Allah will announce that you are the winners today. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to understand and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us patience and sober in our difficulties, in our problems and in our bad situation. Amen. My respected elders and brothers, another message, that, another message that I want to share with you. You know, when the month of Rajab used to set in, our Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to make dua, Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab wa Shaaban wa balighna Ramadan. So that is the dua made by our Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The meaning of this dua is, O oh Allah, bless us in the month of Rajab, bless us in the month of Shaaban, and make us reach till the month of Ramadan. Convey us to the month of Ramadan. In this particular dua, there are two things. Allahumma barik lana fi rajab wa shaban wa balighna ramadhan. There are two things. There is an expression of desire and there is an indication of fear. 
The desire is we must left to the experience the barakah and the blessings of the month of Ramadan. And the fear is that nothing should happen to us before the commencements or commencement of the month of Ramadan that deprives us from the blessings and the barakah of the month of Ramadan. When we ponder, we ponder this hadith in the context of COVID-19. We don't know from amongst us who is going to be affected. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. There, are, there is not only old people that are passing away. There are young people that they are passing away. There are healthiest people they are also passing away. So what if I get infected? What should I do? What if I un unexpectedly get infected? So we seek refuge in this dua of our beloved Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we make dua to Allah subhanahu wa taala to protect us all from harm and infection. And at the same times, we all know that we are living in, in in the world of asbab. We are living in the world of means. We should all be taking reasonable precautions in order to protect ourselves and others from this deadly virus. But my respected elders and brothers, this virus is there, and it is created by Allah. We believe that everything comes from Allah good and ba bad faith comes from Allah at the same time we need to engage in lots of Tawbah and Istighfar we need to turn to Allah we need to leave our bad habit of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when we are engaging in ibadah of Allah we make sincere Tawbah sincere repentance let's regret our sins let's admit our sins and let's ask Allah to forgive our sins and let's promise Allah that we will never do it again let's change our habits let's leave our bad habits for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you do that, then inshallah, Allah will ease the situation. Allah will ease the situation. And then Allah will bring the end to this pandemic.